It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I've decided to do something a little bit different, okay? So I decided to do a weekly weather watch. I did this a long time ago. I never stuck with it. I did it maybe once or twice. Anyhow, I decided that I'm going to do it again. So I'm going to do a weekly weather watch. We're going to do the next seven days what I see. Um... Yeah, so we're going to go with that. These are not my new glasses for those of you that uh, heard me say on Patreon that I'm getting new glasses. These are a pair that I've had for a long time and I just don't wear them very much. Um, so yeah, these are not my new glasses. But anyhow, let's get started. Another thing I wanted to say is I wanted to give a shout out to Hazel. Hazel. Thank you for your support. Thank you for all of your encouragement and all of your kind words in the comments and supporting me all this time and, you know, being so loyal and always trying to, you know, encourage me. So I really, I recognize that and I really appreciate that and you're truly a good person. So thank you. So anyway, what do we have for... The week ahead. Your weekly weather watch with Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. So what do we have? We're gonna go ahead and get Monday. We're gonna get this. We're gonna get one of these and then we're gonna get one tarot card. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. I have to put them really close, huh? I want to be able to get them all in the camera. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And Sunday. So thank you all for being here. Thank you for supporting me, everybody else. Hope you enjoy this little forecast. If you don't get to see all the cards, I will adjust it better next time. I can't see the viewfinder. The viewfinder doesn't move on that camera. It does on this one, but that's my best camera, so. Anyhow, what do we have for Monday? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, oh, and Sunday. Okay, what do we have for the week ahead? Let's look at Monday. Club, someone will try to make you do something against your will. So on Monday, somebody may try to get you to do something that you don't want to do. Okay? Don't do it. Don't do it. Be careful, okay? It's very shady energy. Very sneaky. Somebody has ulterior motives, okay? This is somebody that um, is very selfish, probably lies, is deceitful, has their own uh, agenda. So on Monday, you definitely need to be careful because somebody has some tricks up their sleeve. You know, they're lying. They're not telling you the truth. This is a very shady character. So on Monday, beware. Beware. Don't let somebody force you or manipulate. That's manipulation. The Seven of Swords is somebody that acts without morals. Okay? Very, very shady. Is has been doing things for a long time, has been getting away with it, has been doing shady things, you know? So on Monday, you need to beware. You need to be careful, okay? This, it's a be careful energy. Watch your back, okay? Watch your back because there's somebody in the arena or around you. This could be an enemy, an enemy in the camp, an enemy disguised as a friend. Very, 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 very good at manipulating, so on Monday, somebody is going to try to force you to do something that, you know, meets their agenda. 
not yours. This may be somebody that will throw you under the bus, that will um, take credit for your work, that will blame everything on you. Be very, very, very careful on Monday, okay? What about Tuesday? Tuesday, nest, a loving or not loving, yeah, it does. An emotionally secure, loving family is important to you. So on Tuesday, this is about, you're going to be focusing on your security, your stability, your home, your children, your family, and making it safe, okay? That's your main focus on Tuesday, having security and safety for your family. It's a lot of worry, a lot of fear, a lot of anxiety. You may be afraid on Tuesday that, you know, you're going to be having, you know, something fall apart or a loss or that there's insecurity. You may be going through a period of distress on Tuesday, extreme worry over maybe something to do with your family or your children or your home or your living situation. This may have something to do with uprooting, you know. What I was thinking of was that movie, Fern Gully, and I don't, I haven't seen it in a long time, you know, where they come in and they, they clear out, they clear out all the trees, right? And all the animals, you know, the birds and whatever, they lose their, they lose their homes, they lose their homes. And there's a lot of anxiety and worry and despair over that loss. So anyway, on, I was just thinking of that, I thought of Fern Gully for some reason. Anyway, this is extremely worried, stressed out, um, fearful, anxious. You may be going through a period of mental turmoil over some sort of family situation, living situation that maybe feels like it's out of your control, okay? But these are thoughts, okay? So I think on Tuesday you may be really struggling mentally, you know, over some sort of insecurity within your your home, your family, or your living situation. Some of you could be facing a situation on Tuesday that is really uh, worrying. You may be losing sleep. You may be having a hard time sleeping. You may be feeling like this is a damn nightmare on Tuesday. It's like, oh my God, how am I going to protect my family? How am I going to keep my home? Or how am I going to you know, am I going to have to uproot, you know, that's the nest, right? That's the, the nest is, you know, sometimes people come along and they take nests out of the trees when they should not touch them, right? Or sometimes a nest actually falls out of the tree, you know? And sometimes, you know, a predators go after those eggs. So they're, you may be feeling very anxious and worried over somebody that's after what is yours on Tuesday. So I think that on Monday, somebody may be trying to force you to do something. And on Tuesday, it's really causing you a lot of stress. You're really stressed out. You're really afraid. You're really worried. What is this person going to do? Anyhow, what about Wednesday? I can't see that. Let me go ahead and looks good all right Wednesday rose romance is in the air on Wednesday so Wednesday well, you know now I'm thinking about that song the rose you know on Wednesday things could be coming back alive okay maybe something that was stagnant or was below the surface or um, you weren't able to get to or just wasn't time it wasn't time now it's time so there's some this is wednesday wednesday is love okay and romance doesn't not everybody's looking for romance but romance is in the air you may not be looking for it you i mean you may not okay maybe you've been so stressed out so worried deceived lied to you know you it's a it's a huge energy shift on wednesday Hermit. It's interesting. You may not be looking for it. You may not. So romance is in the air. This is somebody that is kind, compassionate, caring, flirting, um, looking for love, whatever. Whether you're looking for it or not, you may not be looking for it because it feels like you're, the hermit reversed is can be isolating oneself, but this could be a reconnection, okay? This could be coming out of hiding, something that was hidden, 
And I hadn't, I hadn't really seen this. I had glanced at it, but I hadn't connected. So this is a connection. Maybe you, maybe you didn't notice it. Maybe it's a connection that you didn't see, that you didn't pick up on. Romance is in the air. So something that was not seen or not being felt, there could be coming out of isolation. We could have a reconnection. It could be socializing, flirting, um, reconnecting on Wednesday. I feel like there's been a period of isolation or a period, maybe some sort of fear or anxiety or worry that has been keeping somebody hidden or behind the scenes or something like that. Wednesday, it feels like the door is opening in some way. It's like coming out of hiding, coming out of a dark period. There's been some sort of loneliness or fear. There has been. So anyway, on Wednesday, I feel like there's something opening up. Thursday. Goldfish, increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. So on Thursday, there's an increase. This is like if there has been a time out, you've been taking a break, you've been hiding from the world, this is coming out, okay, on Wednesday. Anyhow, this is like increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. This is a, this is, has something to do with Wednesday because the hermit is about spiritual growth. Now you're going to receive something. This is an increase. And then Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups is walking away from something, saying goodbye to something that is no longer emotionally fulfilling. This is a necessary evil. It's facing the challenges ahead. This is making some sort of move. This is literally a goodbye. This is goodbye to something. And this goodbye does lead to an increase. And it could have something to do with loneliness despair, anxiety, something that has really been worrying you, causing you a lot of fear and anxiety and sleepless nights. And you may have felt all alone. It almost feels like you're going to be receiving some support. I don't know. Maybe it's just friendship. Anyhow, this is walking away from something. And this walking away on Thursday does bring some sort of increase. Okay? Friday. Broken ring, which aligns with the Eight of Cups. It does. Broken ring, parting of ways in either romance or business. Very interesting because we have romance right here, but romance or business. So on Thursday, Wednesday, Wednesday, wait a minute here, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I do that a lot. You'll see that a lot when I continue to do these. Friday, Friday is literally parting ways. This is where you're, you've made up your mind, okay? This is stressful. It starts out like, oh my God, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm being deceived. I'm being cheated. I'm so worried. They're after me. They're lying, whatever. And this is not realizing something, thinking about it a long, a long time. I think you've been thinking about it, thinking about it, but now we have movement. So Thursday and Friday is a time where there is a goodbye. This is literally separating. This is parting of ways in either romance or business. So on Friday, there is a parting of ways. This is a breakup. This is severing ties. This is saying goodbye. So Thursday, Friday, it's Thursday into Friday. Queen of Wands could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have Virgo here. We have Air here, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We also have Water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Anyhow, this is taking action, okay? This is being brave, being bold, taking a risk, doing something... Um, spontaneous. So we may have somebody here on Friday that is doing something bold, brave, and spontaneous to create something better, to create something more aligned. Um, really, really focused, focused on um, getting those desires met as well on Friday. So I feel like there's it's action time on Friday. I feel like we have somebody here that is very driven, ambitious, determined, strong, okay, that is making a decision, and this decision does um, involve some sort of departure, 
just saying. On Saturday, Mule, someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change on Saturday. So we have stubbornness. You know, we know what this is. This is a real donkey that won't move, that is stuck, that is unreasonable, okay? So on Saturday, there is somebody that is very, very unreasonable. This person may be very annoying. They may really push your buttons because can't reason with them. And they make loud noises that are obnoxious and it's... Uh, infuriating um, ace of cups reverse ace of cups reverse is emotions all over the place crying tears um, emotional withdrawal emotional loss this is a rejection this is letting something go this is sad and emotional so there is somebody here that on Saturday that is um, emotionally withdrawn. They may be empty. They may not be giving anything. They could be uh, overly emotional or they just may be um, rejecting an offer or throwing something away. Um, so on Saturday, we have emotions all over the place. We have stubbornness and an unwillingness to change. And we may have somebody here that is just doesn't have anything to give. They're emotionally withdrawn and they may even see themselves on a, as a victim. This could be a victim mentality here. Um, so there's sad, there's sadness here. So there, on Saturday, there's, there is. There's sadness, there's tears, there's emotional withdrawal due to somebody's extreme stubbornness and unwillingness to change. On Sunday, we have successfully overcoming a problem, crossing a bridge, getting to the other side. Could be traveling, could be going somewhere, finding a new route, taking a new route, taking a new path, maybe building something, um, building a new way, finding a new way. This is finding a new way. Because on Saturday, we have somebody here that's extremely stubborn. Successfully overcoming a problem on Sunday. Whatever this problem is. Six of Pentacles reversed. Maybe, maybe on Sunday, we have somebody here that is not giving. They're giving up. They're taking something away. This is definitely a rejection Saturday or Sunday. Maybe rejecting an offer that is not going to bring emotionally fulfilling fulfillment due to someone's stubbornness. On This is for the weekend. I feel like uh, we have somebody here that is making a decision. And it do, I do think it has to do with going a new route, going down a new path. You know, it's like when you can't, I mean, you reach that dead end, you're forced to go in a different direction. So I feel like we have somebody here that, you know, on Sunday, this is not being valued. It's it's not being recognized. There's an inequality here. It's not getting what you deserve. It's not being well paid. We may have somebody here on Sunday that is... We definitely have a re rejection on the weekend, rejecting somebody or something or an offer because there's no change, okay? That's no change in too much stubbornness. Successfully overcoming a loss on Sunday. So there, it, it starts throughout the week, okay? You will find a way. You will find a way. But it's not the way that you thought it was going to be. You're not going to be able to go the way that you thought you were going to go. Okay, that's what this is. You will successfully overcome an issue by not being stubborn. By not uh, being stubborn. By not being unwilling to change. You have to be willing. You have to be willing to accept you have a new path, a new way. Okay? So I think on Sunday, I mean, the sun, on Sunday, the Six of Pentacles reversed is not receiving, okay? Not receiving. It's not giving. It's not getting. It's something being given to somebody else. It, it is a rejection. Successfully overcoming a loss this weekend. But it comes with 
taking action and parting ways from a situation that is no longer uh, bringing you emotional fulfillment. But I think at the beginning of the week, there's going to be some sort of mental turmoil, mental conflict over, you know, how you're going to get through this. And I think it's going to be extremely overwhelming. I think somebody's going to try to force somebody to do something that they won't don't want to do. And it's going to cause a lot of a mental and emotional stress. And it's like maybe there's an epiphany. Maybe there's some sort of help that comes out of nowhere or... Uh, something like that and by the end of the week I think that there's going to be you know a no answer and I feel like this no answer is the bridge to success believe it or not successfully overcoming a problem by not making an emotional decision because that's something about extremely emotional you need to take action so anyway I feel like this is a week where it starts out very stressful and and there could be a loss there could be a loss but this loss it kind of like forces you to go down this new path so that you can get what you deserve you know, you can get the reciprocation, the equality, the pay, you know, that you deserve. I think you're going to successfully overcome a loss, but there's a change. If you don't change, then you won't. Good luck.